I personally believe that if Canada extradite Moon to the U.S., China's revenge will be far worse than detaining a Canadian. Canada will pay. That's the message from China's state media to Canadian authorities. The latest escalation in mounting tensions between the two nations since the arrest of a top Chinese tech executive in Vancouver at the request of the United States. Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou, now released on bail, could face extradition to the U.S. over allegations she violated American trade sanctions on Iran. That same day, the first of two Canadian citizens confirmed detained in China. Now a second Canadian is also in trouble. The country's foreign ministry confirmed today former Canadian diplomat Michael Kovrig and Alberta entrepreneur Michael Spaver have been taken into custody on suspicion of endangering national security. We uh, continue to engage with the uh, Chinese authorities. We uh, will uh, always be standing up for Canadians uh, in, uh, in difficult situations abroad. We're engaged uh, in uh, consular services with their families. Should Canadians travel to China now? Is it time for the Prime Minister to pick up the phone and call President Xi? I, I think at this point in time, given the fact that we have Canadian citizens who are being detained in what appears to be a direct link to an independent investigation going on in Canada, I think it does need to be elevated. I think we have to take this very seriously and act very early on this. Spaver, seen here with Dennis Rodman and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, runs cultural exchanges with North Korea out of China, according to the organization he founded. Chinese state media is warning of revenge and unnecessary troubles for Ottawa if it doesn't defy the U.S. and release Hmong. Although Canada is a U.S. ally, it should not get deeply drawn into the China-U.S. game. A piece titled The World is Watching Canada, published today on the website of a Chinese broadcaster linked to the government, accuses Canada of enforcing the law on behalf of the U.S. Now the opinion piece reads... This unwise act will bring about consequences to Canada unless it releases Miss Mung as soon as possible. It's in Canada's best interest to try and remain neutral.